Star date 2702.2018. The Klingons are up to something. The crew is ready and we maintain battle readiness for past 72 hours. USS Military Industrial Complex is ready. If you missed the announcement last night by Trump, US is about to get its sixth military branch. As if five weren't enough, Trump called on his military brass to establish a new branch of the military, one that has the otherworldly characteristics. Whether Trump has called for formation of such force to detract from the disastrous immigration, immigration policy of separating children from their immigrant parents, we'll never know. Although the call for Space Force might also play into the latest US policy of returning to the Moon by mid to late 2020s and first manned mission to Mars planned by NASA sometimes in early mid 2030s. US would like to stay ahead in space race which is looming with China and Russia as they are gearing for major expansion of capability in case of China, significant. China is developing Long, Long March 9 rocket, or CZ-9 as the project is called. The rocket will be capable of lifting 140-ton payload into low Earth orbit and be as large and powerful as Saturn V or even SLS. Considerable increase in capability and ambitions as China plans to match US in its celestial ambitions. Funding for Space Force is yet to be determined US Air Force, however, receives funding for space programs. In short to medium term, the Air Force is projected to invest $44.3 billion into space systems, $31.5 billion in research and development, and $12.8 billion in procurement. However, massive increase in research and development is indeed worrying. SpaceX, which caught the imagination of a generation of Americans who remember Apollo program with nostalgia and memories of early man exploration of Moon. The same nostalgia has infected young, younger generation, including myself, who sees SpaceX, Mars plans, visionary and bold. Perhaps Trump seeing how popular Elon Musk's vision has become, tries to hitch the ride on very popular agenda. However, going back to Space Force, we must be pragmatic and admit militarization of space was inevitable. It would have happened sooner or later. We just didn't expect it would have happened so soon. However, don't expect major changes in how US conducts its foreign policy. And it is unlikely US is building secretly a bunch of heavy cruisers in space.